Hi guys. So today we are going to talk about astrology. Today most of the people are trying to understand or realize what they don't see. For some people when their life is not improving or if something is going wrong in their lives, they look for shortcuts instead of understanding the real fact. As I have understood, astrology is an ancient science that helped to build some kind of a spiritual engagement between people and the universe somehow this is one of the oldest career in this world and still people are trying to get help through astrology in their day to day lives so here i'm not going to talk about my personal opinion instead i would like you to see opinions of these wise people so you can judge by your own Please subscribe my channel if you want to see more videos like this and if you need to add more to this please give me a comment I really appreciate it A lot of Hindus believe in astrology and I'm wondering whether this links in with our religion or conflicts with our religion Let me give you my own take on it rather than going to great philosophy or theological debate my own take on it You see, I am influenced and inspired by a very great personality of modern India called Swami Vivekananda. And this is what he said. He said, "Look, your religion tells you you are in charge of your destiny. So if you say some planet is getting in your way, roll up your sleeves. I am going to shift you. <laughs> so even whether you can shift it or not, whether astrology is right for or right or wrong, do not let it dictate to you. That's what he's saying. Suppose I I go to an astrologer. He says, 'Yeah, you see, you are going to win this and do this.'" So you're going to win the lottery. So I'll stop working straight away. And suppose that's all was wrong. I've demolished my whole life is gone. Suppose oh you're going to meet you know I'm talking to the rest of you. Suppose you say oh, you meet a beautiful girl and you're going to get married and and you know and suppose you go along with the astrologer saying and you meet somebody who looks so nice and sweet and in no time she gets the clothes out. Yeah. You no know, all these Z TV serials clothes out. <laughs> and you say what have i done what have i stepped into the astrologer will be fine she her her kundali met met is my kundali and now the kundalis are fighting <laughs> what will happen to you so what what i am saying is this whether it's right or wrong it is best not to pay attention to it for the simple reason it takes away your dignity of making sense of the world yourself using your common sense and coming to terms and addressing the issues as they arise rather than suppose somebody says oh you're going to die you know five years time you start crying today and suppose he was wrong they'll be really wasted you know a lot of tears wasted so stand up and say i'm i'm going to resolve my own issue my i'm going to fight and i'm going to sort myself if he said i'm not going to die you know if somebody said oh this line on your palm said this is going to happen to you you know we can say take a knife and i'll make another line <laughs> and it's not that we are we are simply saying whether it's right it can be damaging it overwhelms you takes away your your freedom to decide and the human freedom is what religion is all about even if you get knocked about get up and fight stand up against any any force so don't let them overwhelm you and again you see who normally falls prey to this people who are weak vulnerable you see they are the ones who will be paying money to the astrologers and these and wearing all these stones god help them so i would say be very careful use this all the time and make sure that you tell yourself i will dictate my future no planets are going to get it, get in my valley shift the planets and blow them away But you, we know not. At least you are showing that you are. You got a spirit in you to stand up against anything. Now, what do you, you think are. about psychics and mediums? Bullshit artists. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, I go with. I think it is entirely possible that we sense things that we don't have uh, a, an understanding of. Like sometimes you feel something weird. Like I was yeah. thinking about a friend of mine uh, yesterday, and I hadn't talked to him in a while, and he emailed me right. out of the blue. Right. I don't know if that's a coincidence. Right. I don't know what that is, but the odds of it happening are uh, You got to think of how many times do you think about your friend and they don't email you, right? Right. right? Like why is it then when you think about them and they do? Is it just coin I don't know, but I think there are times where you sense things that you don't have a sense for. Like there's a feeling that you get where you don't understand and i think we we sense things about each other and maybe there are social cues that we're picking up on maybe there yeah. maybe people give off pheromones when they're upset maybe and maybe those trigger you because we're like sort of designed to avoid confrontation in certain individuals 
But I think this idea that they can look at you and like, your family <laughs> is from, I sense a farm. Is there a farm? <laughs> is there a farm in your past? Um, no. Plants? But, Selling plants? Yeah, no, I had plants. what it is is a potted plant. Sit by the... Yes. Yes. There yes. was a potted plant. And you are close to a woman. <gasps> yes, um, I have. Who would that be? My mother. My your, mother was a woman. Your mother, yes. Yes. I see your mother. Um, uh, I'm trying to picture out her name. Is there an A in her name? Yeah. Yeah. No, but, Magdalene. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Magdalene. Very good. Yes. <laughs> Dude, I went to see this lady. She knew everything about my mom. A friend of mine went to a, a chiropractor, or not a chiropractor, a psychic, same shit. And uh, he, he went, <laughs> Same he shit, went, different toilet. He went, dude, the chiropractor knew all about my grandmother. I go, yeah. Mm. Don't you know about your grandmother? You know about your grandmother, right? So your chiropractor's yeah. telling you shit you already know, or your psychic, rather. Still, right, I keep right. calling the chiropractor. I know, I was like... Reiki healer <laughs> knows shit about things that you already know. So they're yeah. telling you things you already know. Like, they're not psychic, they're, right, they're manipulating right, right. you. They're pulling questions out of you. They, they're getting answers. They, they're giving you leading questions. You're answering them in a very naive way. And yeah. you're giving them the information because they're fucking con artists. Tell yeah. this asshole to tell you what your future is. Tell them yes. to tell you what the, what the lottery number is. How come they never pick the lottery, these fucks? That's right. And Houdini had this thing where, didn't he work it out with like his wife or something? He, that there was like a code word so that when he died, he would go from beyond, have a, the word that they would know. And it never, you yeah. know, happened. Maybe he didn't like her. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. <laughs> I was like, I'm out of satisfaction knowing about ghosts. <laughs> I go by Penn and Teller. I'm friends with Penn. And Love he, him. He just tells me it's 100% horse shit. Yeah. Like 100% flat out. You know, they have that James Randi challenge. You know, that guy has offered a no. million dollars to anyone that can prove actual psychic powers. No one's taken him up on it. No one's ever. James Randi. It's the James Randi challenge. Not even the, the what's the? The, the Long Island yeah. medium. Yeah. Ah! I think she might be a bullshit artist. I, one time, I think I got hosed. I did a show, a podcast, and the lady was, she was good. Because I think, I think what it is, is people can read your unconscious. It's yeah. one unconscious mind reading another unconscious mind, I imagine. I feel like your father was an artist. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, yes. But that's the thing. They're telling you things that you already know. That's right, what so drives me fucking crazy. Affirming what's already a belief or whatever in you versus new information. What do you yeah. think about astrologers? Ah, that's fucking stupid. Bullshit, right? Yeah. Bullshit. I don't. Can I tell you something? Whenever I, I meet a girl and she's like, "What's your sign?" and I'm like, "Gemini." She's like, "I knew it. You're such a Gemini." Who? Are, what's your husband? And I'm like, "Don't, please don't. Like, I can't pretend like I, I, I can't. I can't yeah. subscribe to. It's you're fucking such horseshit. a Scorpio. Yeah. God, how can you not believe you're such a Scorpio? <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just not it's silly but you can find traits in people and all sorts of people that match all sorts of different like i could be a virgo yeah. i could be a taurus yeah uh oh you're so stubborn you gotta be a taurus <laughs> you're such a pisces that way oh my God, you're such a leo how could you not believe you're such a leo <laughs> yeah because i could read any any horoscope mm. and it, it would probably apply I, what, I, like, what, what I really wonder about, well, those are bullshit. Yeah. The real horoscope thing, when you talk to the people that are super into it, they they literally want to know what time of the day you were born, what right. part of the world you were born. Right. And then they're like, well, you're a Gemini with a cancer rising <laughs> and your part cut. <laughs> Stop. It makes my asshole pucker. <laughs> like even hearing it. It's like a, a million alarm bells are like, dumb, 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 dumb. I can't. I can't. Okay. Yeah. Stan Hope used to have a funny bit about it. I forget how it goes. We have a funny bit about how ridiculous it is. Is astrology real and provable? Now you got a good question there. I've been wondering about this for 35 years. I would say it's definitely real. It's provable. But who has the time? The real question is, do you believe in the mystery? Do you have faith in the invisible? Do you believe that why you're breathing right now, why your eyes are working, why you're watching this is because spirit's moving through you? Or do you think it's just a random exercise that's completely, totally out of control? The truth is there's a design. I love the line, guy, that, I love the line Einstein said, God is not playing with dice. You're here for a reason. Whether or not you believe in astrology is irrelevant. Just look at the day-to-day -day living and your funny personality and you'll see that without a question, you are exactly who you're supposed to be. You may not agree with me, but I could help convince you of it if you gave me a few minutes. Astrology is a science where it talks about the connection of microcosm with the microcosm. How far we planet like Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, 
Pluto, a connection to this planet Earth, to our human existence, and to the to the entire creation, to grains, to birds, you know. The ancient people found out there is connection between planets and our own body. Saturn is connected with our teeth and our legs. So some part of the body is connected with some planet. Sun is connected with our eyes. And so, and the Saturn is connected with sesame seed. It's connected with crow as a bird, blue sapphire as a stone. So they, they saw connection in the universe. Everything is connected. Now, planets move today with all very powerful binas, binoculars and telescopes and um, big Hubble telescope and all. We could find out how many how big the universe is. But ancient people knew it and they wrote it all. Even today, they wrote to the minute, to the second of when the eclipse is going to happen, when they have all the calculation in place. It's amazing. It's a science that has not been explored very well in modern days. Yes, Saturn affects. What, does it, what do they say? If you are undergoing a particular Saturn period, that period is going to affect you, your mind. Acharya Sri, what are your comments on astrology? Astrology is in Indian culture. They have different name. They say, what is it? What says my horoscope? They consider it is Vedic astrology. Vedic means like old. It is a chart. It has 12 houses. And there are in 12 houses, there are uh, different kind of nakshatras and grahas, planets, what we call it. Actually, there are many planets but which are moving, rotating, so we consider them. And they are effective because they are in the bigger shape, like bigger than Earth or bigger than uh, Mars, bigger than, sometimes bigger than Jupiter. But in our uh, solar system, uh, there are just, uh, I think Jupiter is considered very big. So there are nine planets are main. So astrology, it is a belief that if you are born in certain time and all these planets are affecting, your body is made about uh, like their effect is already in the body. Suppose the Jupiter. Jupiter was close to you when you were born. Or the Mars was close to you. So your body has that effect. That is belief. And it is coming since thousands of thousands of years. And whenever those uh, planets rotate in certain angles or moves in certain angles. So it creates that kind of situation. It can happen, prosperity happen for certain country or certain area, south or north or east, or certain kind of person. That's what we call them, oh, this person is born with stars, very lucky. Or a person is not having good luck, this person is born with bad stars. So that is astrology. Now, uh, I won't go into all of this. Astrology. What is it that you're trying to do? You're trying to look at the positions of the planet and make certain predictions, right? I want you to understand, most of the time, people who make good predictions are people who 
you know, tell you about the past very clearly or some people tell you tomorrow what's going to happen very clearly, they are not doing it looking at the planets, they are doing it looking at you. A certain intuitiveness is there in a certain person, he says. You know, instead of teaching this yoga, if I sit in Chennai and just predict people's future, I will tell you in the next ten years exactly what will happen in your life. Within three days, I will have a reputation that half the Chennai will be standing in queue. Very easily I can do that. But in, in the yoga center also there are people who have been into so much sadhana, they can do such things. If they ever do such things, I will finish them. We won't let them go on with that nonsense. We'll immediately chuck them out of the place. Because by predicting somebody's future, you don't alter the quality of his life in any way. You don't bring any kind of true well-being. It is just, you know, you're getting him into more and more ignorance, isn't it? Now if you have the power to know your tomorrow, you will only become more ignorant, more egoistic, more stupid, more harmful. You go by the normal rules, it's okay, you don't have to know what's tomorrow. You are made like this right now, the quality of your life and your own way of being is such, if you know tomorrow today, you will not participate in today. Isn't it? Yes or no? Suppose I tell you, whatever you do, you are not going to die. You will do irresponsible things in the world. Or if I tell you tomorrow morning anyway you will die, now you won't participate in today. Isn't it? So, you should not know the future. It's not necessary for you to know the f future. Can somebody predict? Yes, sometimes. But that's not hundred percent. It's never hundred percent. Every object has a certain influence on you. See, right now this vessel, because of its shape and its material, it has a certain influence. It has a certain vibration emanating from it. If I allow this vessel to influence me, I keep him next to me because he's quite a good friend. I'm not keeping a plastic pot because I don't like his the things that he says. I keep this one because, you know, saying pleasant things. I am always in good company, please see. <laughs> but now if I allow this vessel to influence me too much, slowly I will become like a vessel. This will happen to you. Many people have become like vessels, isn't it? <laughs> haven't they? They will let things influence them so deeply, they will become like that. No, I won't let this copper vessel to influence me. But uh, being in my company, he is so influenced. You will see, you take another copper vessel, you give me anything. Right now you give me any object. Just give it to me for twenty seconds. I'll hold it in my hand and give it back to you. It will be different. If you're sensitive, you can feel it is distinctly different. So, the question is just this, will you allow objects to influence you or will you influence the objects? Something else. The planets definitely are large objects, so they have certain vibrations, they have some influences on everything around them. If they are close to this planet, yes. Do you know on Pavarnami and Amavasya days, full moon day and new moon day days, people who are little mentally disturbed or imbalanced become much more imbalanced. Yes? Even the ocean is going crazy, isn't it? Do you all go crazy? Twice a month? Some of you are not saying anything. Twice a month if you are going crazy, you would have observed. <laughs> anyway, please ask your family, they will tell you. <laughs> now, compared to that person who has an imbalanced mind, 
you are much more stable much more established wherever the moon goes you don't go crazy if you are much more established wherever any planet goes you don't go crazy that's all you, the purpose of your life the destiny of your life is fixed by you and nothing else but you yes everything has an influence but what you make out of that influence is still yours isn't it but if you are going to be pushed around by inanimate objects yes you can be pushed around to that extent it is true i am saying when the divine is functioning within you when the creator is functioning within you why are you allowing inanimate things to influence your life if you if you allow this dimension to flower in you you will see life happens fantastic let the stars go anywhere let the planets go anywhere you will go only where you want to go you want to go where you want to go or you want to be pushed around by inanimate objects you must decide that now uh, they are writing it in horoscope and giving it to you how you are going to live please tell me if there is an intelligent person in this room can you predict what he will do the next moment he may do something that nobody has ever done isn't it if there is a fool here if you look at him you can say okay this is how you will live if they have to write it on paper and give you that this is the way you will live what to do <laughs> that means you are refusing to use your intelligence isn't it 